Hello. <laughs> Welcome to November 7th. 8th. I don't know what day it is. I just looked at it. You just looked. You just you just saw me look. November 8th. Welcome to November 8th. It is cold. Uncomfortably cold out here right now. Uh, really special video for you today, vlog today. I want that's right. I want to talk about a yoga wheel, right? There's a Wicked Popula. And I want to show you some things that you can do with this. Uh, the best way, make sure that it's visible, right? The best way to use this, uh, or, or, you know, pretty much the, the only thing this is good for is rolling it right friggin' out of your life. Yeah. Just like that. Roll that thing right out of there. Don't bother with that crap. Okay? Why? Why do I say that? The... Okay, first of all, yoga's been around for a really long time. Really, really long time. And it's done, it, it's done a, a lot of stuff really well. Uh, that's not to say yoga should not evolve with knowledge and, and technology and understanding. But for the most part, the fundamental concept of yoga, the physical m movements, right? The asana, I'm very cold, I'm starting to shiver a bit. And Cassie's very confused as to what that thing is. Is that a toy? Should she get that? She doesn't know. She's just doing a surveil. Um, this might be a blog post better for indoors because I'm very cold. The whole concept of yoga, well, that seems really presumptuous. There are many concepts in yoga, but, but we want to talk about the physical asanas, movement. And the movement of the body in yoga, in every instance that we can, we examine that movement from a point of view of what is the joint's function? What is the joint's structure? And what is your, you know, the individual's capacity for realizing that, that function and movement? Knees don't rotate. We don't ever do that. And anything that puts lateral pressure on the knee is not a good thing doesn't take much to cause damage to a knee. What does that have to do with a yoga wheel? Something like a yoga wheel, Cassie is still very unsure of that thing over there. Um, you've probably heard me talk before in various vlogs about finding a um, functional movement within a joint and how there are some ways where we can move past the function of a joint. Twisting is an ex excellent example. All of the movement in the twist comes from the thoracic spine, and I think there's 30 degrees max in a twist. And you see people taking their elbows, putting their elbows on one side of their leg, and then cranking that twist. I myself used to twist a lot without leverage, but it's no less unhealthy. And I've stopped, I've learned my lesson. What does this have to do with the yoga wheel? When you introduce props like that, you make it really easy to move the joints beyond their structure and capability. It's really easy to start going to yoga classes and learning the postures. It's really difficult to deepen the practice for yourself. Because yoga is very much an internalized practice. We do not seek the, we, we don't seek external 
um, uh, uh, what do you call it there? Motivations, external praise, right? Like we might say to something like, wow, such and such looks really good. Like, wow, you're, I don't know, your crow is amazing, whatever. Like that happens. But the point is to internalize it. The point is to, not, not in a negative way, the point is to be reflective and build body awareness and to strengthen the body and, and the mind. Yoga is about mobility, which is strength and flexibility, right? It's not one or the other, it's both. If you introduce external devices like a yoga wheel, not only are you able to move the body in a way the body is not meant to move, therefore you can cause injury very easily, but you're also moving the practice to an exterior place. Instead of learning to do a back bend well within your ability to do a back bend, you now use this yoga wheel to try and get more there faster. And there's a couple of different ways to think about this. First of all, you might say, what if you have a disability? What if you're differently abled? And I don't know. I, I don't know. I would need to be in a situation that's specific with that person. But I can say this. It doesn't matter who the person is or what their body is. They're, everybody's has a physical structure called the skeleton within their body. And we all have muscles and tendons and ligaments and tissues. And one goal of physical asana practice, right? Asana is postures. One goal of that practice is to learn to move safely and healthily within that structure, whatever it is. Whether I'm in a three-point sling when I hurt my shoulder or not, we try to move within that space. How you move within that space can differ. Blocks come into play, for example. And it's funny because blocks are something that people will usually usually avoid using because because it's 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 it, an, a sign of weakness. They think it's a sign of weakness, and it's not. It's not a sign of weakness to use blocks. Blocks are very limited in how you can use them. Something like a yoga wheel, it's very easy to hurt yourself using one. I use mine as a laptop stand. <laughs> you turn it on its side, laptop fits on there, works great, works great. I did buy one, yeah. When I started, probably a year before I started teacher training, I bought one. And after about 10 minutes of playing with it on my mat, I thought to myself, this thing is garbage. This is, this is garbage, don't use this. So, that's my vlog for today. Don't use a yoga wheel find a good teacher if you feel like you're having difficulty exploring postures find somebody that you can talk to somebody that could mentor you don't refer uh, don't don't resort to stuff like that you know and you may have seen up in the corner my 365 for today so yeah Thanks for joining me for this vlog. Thanks for joining me for this 365. I, I expect a rash of comments uh, because it's, I mean, there's a lot, there's some people out there who really dig that wheel. You yeah. know, each to their own, I suppose. But really consider it, consider the potential for injury. 
consider the, the potential for growth if you keep your practice within yourself and your own body awareness. Namaste.